G'day guys, on my way out again today. Uh, it's going to be 30 degrees, so I'm getting out pretty early. It's about 6 a.m. I've got uh, the three dogs with me today, and settle down. And uh, I've got four ferrets. I've got the old brigade, Sally, Willow, and Sissy, and Grace. I've got Grace as well. Uh, not going to be out there too long because it's going to warm up pretty quick. A uh, big shout out to Phil for sending me those nets up. I've put some pegs on them nets, mate, and I'll I'll throw them down today and see how they go. Um, going to head out to Fred's place. Haven't been out there for quite some time. I'm just hoping that the grass isn't too long in his paddock. Uh, if it is, I'll, I'll move to another spot, but we'll see how we go. All right, that's uh, what we're up to today, guys. So uh, a bit of action coming, hopefully. All right now. Heading into Fred's place now, guys. Grass looks pretty, uh, pretty tall, but we'll go ahead and back and have a bit of a look. Let's see, uh, see what's going on. There's a rabbit right there, running in front of the car. since I've been here, it's, it's, it's at least almost there's another rabbit there, oh, there's two, a couple of rabbits, one right there, one on the road, another one over there, and there's a burrow in here that I do. There's another one there. So as you can see guys, there is a, a few written another one there, there is a few, another one there, another one there, they're, they're just running everywhere. I could let the dogs out and catch one of these if, he's, if he sits. Yep, he's set. Here, come here. Here, come here. Here, 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 here. here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go get him, Zip. Wait. Go, go, go. Now he's onto him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, Blake. Missed him. Miss that one. Well, there's a few about here anyway. Bloody dogs fogging up the window. Leave the camera going, guys. Just give you a bit of a look about. You'll see what I see. There's another big burrow just in here. You see too many on that actually. So, um, just a bit of background on this place. I've been doing this place now for about oh, I don't know four or five years. Um, there's another big, big one just in there, just sitting right there. Few burrows along that hill there that I do every now and again. But anyway, yeah, I've been coming out here for about five years, and and I'm the only person that ferrets on here. So what I normally do is I'll come in and I'll I'll hit it pretty hard for a, a couple of months, and then I'll leave it alone for a while. And I haven't been out here for like I said for some time now. So hopefully um, they would have bred up. Not sure. If Gates open if not all left open. Oh yeah, no, gates open. So that's good. And the only other person who comes out here is Fred, the owner, will come out and shoot him every now and again. Or he'll get his friends to come out and shoot him, but um, you can only get so many. There's so many rabbits on this property and so many burrows. You, can, you just. You, it's just a never ending battle for him. I feel sorry for him because he goes loose and, and he has horses and stuff and uh, and the rabbits just destroy his crop so 
he's more than happy for people to come out and, and get a few. Now I've got two options, I can either go straight out to this burrow because I want to try your nets out Phil. So um, what I might do is drive around, have a bit of a look and then head out to the burrow where I'm going to put a couple of first nets down and then I'll come back to these burrows out here. Jeez, there's a lot of rabbits sitting over there mate. The trouble with that big burrow there is it's massive, it's, it's like it's huge. You put your ferrets in, you never know where they're going to come out. A lot of rabbits in it, but you'll see once we get up this bit of a hill here, there's another rabbit right there. So there's another rabbit running across there, another one there, another one running there. See that big burrow over there, I don't know if you can see all that big burrow where we're all headed. Another one there. So that burrow's got quite a few in it. Oh, look at this burrow here. So, plenty of rabbits about. Look at the rabbits sitting on there. Look at the rabbits there. One. And they, they, I'll come back and do this burrow up later. That was one of the ones that I do. There's about uh, half a dozen rabbits sitting on that. Sit down. Look at the rabbits over there. Geez, there's a few here, mate. Another one running there. Another one, another one sitting there, one sitting there, another one sitting there, another one over the back there, another one there. You see, these burrows are full, mate. Everywhere I look, all I can see is rabbits. Look at them all running here. I don't know if, you, if they're coming out on the camera, but this whole paddock, there's just rabbits sitting out everywhere. Another one running up the back over there. If you can see them there, there's one there, one there, one there, one there. And this with a car next to them. Can you imagine coming out here with a, with, a, with a gun? So I'll come back and I'll do a few of these with the long nets. To see there's rabbits sitting out here. One there, one there. One on, one on that burrow there. There's, there's two of them sitting in the grass just here. One right in front of me and one a little bit further. You'll see this one here running in a second. There he goes. Another one there. So there you go. This one's a paddock I was telling you about, Phil. That um, there's just so many. Another another one. Everywhere I look, there's just rabbits. So, and it just goes on and on. It's just burrow after burrow. The, for the people to follow me YouTube, you would have seen this paddock uh, a few times. And this is what I was afraid of. This long grass, but back there it seemed to be okay. But um, I was afraid of this long grass for a couple of different reasons. One reason is you can't see the snakes, and I don't like that. Uh, and the other reason is that it's, they're hard to net, and you miss you miss a few holes here and there, and can't see where your ferrets come out. But anyway, I'll go out and have a look, Phil, and see if I can do this burrow Eddie. It's normally all right there, the grass on the other side of the house. Look at the rabbits running here, mate. Look at them on that hill over there. Jeez, they're just everywhere. There's a burrow up here that's a good indicator for this place. The one right in front of me. When there's not many about here, that burrow there doesn't usually hold them. And at the moment I've just seen half a dozen of them run in there. In this hill burrow here, which would probably be a good one to net actually. And there's a couple of big burrows in here. So all these burrows have got plenty in there, bred right up here. That'd be a good good um, burrow to net actually, but we could throw a few purse nets down on, on it. Wasn't the one I was going to do, but there is a few in it. Let me just have a look over here at the one I was going to do. There's one just here that I do it a bit. The one I wanted to do was here. Oh yeah, I've just seen a couple of rabbits drop in it, so we know that there's something in it. Another couple of rabbits here. Alright, so we'll, we'll net this one. I've just seen a rabbit or two drop in it. And there's a massive burrow here that's always got tons of them in it. Look at the rabbits running out here. They're just running everywhere, guys. So Looks like we're going to get one or two, let's just say that. I'll just show you, this burrow here is probably the best burrow here, but I never ever do it because um, it stretches out and comes out all over the place and you need two or three people to do it. 
and I'm the, I'm the eight most of the time. Rabbit out there. This is a really good burrow, this one. But it comes out on all over the place. On the other side of the shed, underneath the bungalow. And if your ferrets come out, you don't see them. Looks like the foxes have been here too. Alright, well I'll throw a few nets down guys on this little little burrow over here. I did see a couple drop in it. There's actually two burrows here, but you got this one. Which and there's one a little bit further on. But I'll do this one first because it's only a few holes. I'll put Phil's purse nets down and we'll see how they work. Alright, come back to you. Beautiful morning, birds are singing, sun's coming up fast though mate. <laughs> Cooker burrows are going off. My hands as hard as a rock. You wouldn't want to be trying to dig them out of here, that's for sure. Leave a few of these burrows open. The dogs have a run. I think that one's actually a separate burrow. Yeah, you know, I'll leave a few open for the dogs. Give them a run. So I haven't got a lot of time, guys. That sun's coming up fast, and it'll get too hot for the ferrets really quick. So let's. Uh, Oh, you bloody idiot. So when we were coming about, talking about coming up here camping, Phil, there's the Murray River right there, and this is Fred's place here. So you, when I said that where I camp is right on, on, uh, on the property, I could actually camp on this property, but we're better off camping on the river so we can do a bit of fishing as well. Even though it's only like a three minute walk to the river. So when you come up, Phil, we'll, we'll camp just out the back there, mate. And we'll do all their ferreting in here. And there's so many rabbits here, mate, you will catch. You better bring plenty of freezers to take them home, I can tell you. Uh, we spend a couple of days ferreting here. I don't know how many we'll get, mate, but it'll be a few as you can see. Well, guys, um, I'm on my way back home now. In my haste to get out quickly and beat the sun, I've left the ferrets at home. I've got the ferret box in the back, but the carry case I left next to the fridge where I put the ice into the esky, so I've got to shoot back home now, grab the ferrets and get back, and all that rushing about trying to get there as early as I could to beat the sun is um, in vain. But anyway, not to worry, that's, that's part of the game, taking him his stride. So now I'll stop, I'll get some gas, more fuel for the car, and um, pick the ferrets up, and shoot back out but it's not all bad because look fortunately for me all the rabbiting that I do is uh, usually within half an hour of where I live so it's not it's not a total loss that place there where I was where I was just at is 20 minutes from where from my front doorstep so you know I've lost an hour so that's the way it goes isn't it but anyway it'll make me slow down a bit next time maybe hopefully but you think by now I would learn wouldn't you but anyway, that's the way it goes. Fleet. Alright, the good news is, guys, I'm back now. Um, there wasn't supposed to be any cloud cover today. It was supposed to be just all sunny, but a few clouds have come over, so... Might give me uh, that hour that I lost, I might get back from the cloud cover, so that'll be good. I'm just going to throw, I've got a few nets, I left those other nets down when I went back to get the ferrets. But um, I'm gonna, there's another burrow here, I'm going to net that up as well. Just make sure the camera's going. So I'll net this one up here, it's only a couple of holes. Three holes on this I think, if I remember rightly.
So your nets are on that burrow, Phil. another one for me pocket. I don't really mind if the uh, if, if they escape because the dogs will get it run. Jeez, this ground's as hard as a rock, mate. I'll just move these sticks. See the cord on these ones, Phil? It's really good cord on these nets. Not so much on the older ones, but these, this red cord's a really good stuff. Looks like they've been digging at it. Oh, actually, there's another one there. Another couple of holes here. I'll net them up. Everywhere, everywhere I look I can see burrows. Such a good property this property, there's, there's so much to go at, you just don't know where to start. Show you them old nets I was talking about too, fellow. Grab a couple out. These had really good cord on them too, but these are some of the um, the first ones that I got from the UK, and I've had them for a while now, and they're still going. But the cord on them's not as good. These are some of the first ones. I don't, can't even remember where I got these from, but it was the UK somewhere. There's a dead rabbit. I've seen a lot of small ones around, as usual, but at least they're not kits. They're, they're small, but they were sort of between half grown and three quarter grown. These nets are only four footers. And they're those 16 ones, uh, 17 Phil, I think they're across the middle of these ones. 16 or 17. I think they're 17. But they drop out of them, they, they do. They don't, they don't purse as good as the bigger ones. I don't reckon anyway. All right, I might just use um, willow in this one. Yeah, bit of cloud cover, that's good. bite me. Haven't been out for a while but there's no need for that to cape on. There's Grace. Grace and Willow. and willow are so much alike the only way I can tell them apart is I call her willow because she's got a W on her chest that's why I called her willow and sissy's her full sister that's why I call her sissy right we'll start 
that over here. This way, fleet, fleet, fleet. You say no, this is over here, look, they're all over here. It's okay, mate, they're everywhere here. Move. Stand on another burrow. Good boy. Okay, mine, mine, Cass, mine, Cass! That was one of your nets, Phil. Wrapped him up pretty good. Willow's got an older one in there, I can hear it, hear it kicking. Must be over here. Get him! Get him, Fleet! Move! Move! Get him, Fleet! Get him, Fleet! Good. Get him! Get him! Get him, Fleet! Go! Get him! Good boy! Good boy, Fleet! Alright, mine. Good boy, Fleet! Good boy! No. Good boy, Fleet! Kicking over here. Okay. Go. Oh, geez, he was right on in there, wasn't he? There's two. Watch him, Fleet. Get him. Get him, Fleet. Move, Cass. Cass, move. Good boy, Fleet. Good boy. Dragged him out again. Thank you. Good boy, Fleet.
So that burrow is done. Good girl. Good girl, Willow. Good girl. I might cut these before I drop another ferret in. Just so you uh so they don't have to sit in the sun. off it's starting to get bloody warm Guys, I'll just um, cut these rabbits and then put them in the esky. Bag them up, put them in the esky, and then I'll get back to you. Come on, guys. Hello, girl. Hello, I'll be up. Bloody savages, ferret. I mean, all of mine are, but Grace is a, a real killing machine. Move late. There he goes. Now get ready, dogs, because there's a few of these holes that aren't covered. There's a bunch of them that aren't covered. All over here. One, two, three, four. It's big, this burrow it goes all the way around. Stretches right out to where that. I'll show you. Comes all the way out here. It's all near here. It stretches out all the way out, out to here. So it's not a small burrow. Beautiful day to be out. Nothing I like better. Birds are singing, a little bit of a breeze, still not too hot. I mean, I'm in a singlet, but an hour from now it's going to be too warm. And the big open paddock that I do that you see on my videos. Is straight across there. See where the house is? That's the next paddock. That's why that's a big open paddock. So this whole area is so many rabbits. See all the burrows along over there as well. Over there. All around that dam there is a oh there's not a lot of burrows, maybe two or three on that dam. Catch up, my mate. Not sure where it came out. Oh, he's got it. Good boy. Come.
Rice. Pop, 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 pop. Well, I'm standing around packed up a few nets. Save a bit of time. Alright guys, got your nets down again too Phil, one, two, three. I've left a couple of holes open, deliberately, um, just to give the dogs a bit of a run if they try and make it to that big burrow there, another burrow there, another burrow. The burrows are all the way across this paddock. Alright I'll throw, um, I've got, I'll put Willow and Grace left them over at the car and I'll just pull out oh, probably Sally hey Sal Don't run out there mate, there's too many three corner jacks, bindi eyes, whatever you want to call them. See how he's limping? Bloody hundreds of them in that paddock, that's why I don't run the dogs out there. Bloody holes all over this, look at that. There goes a ferret. Top, 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 top. She could have chased a rabbit out then, I wouldn't have even seen it. Hoo hoo! Hoo! Got him. Oh, move, 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 move. Tot <laughs> 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 